I am thrilled to be with the cast of Solar Opposites, which a show I love. Um, how are you enjoying Comic Con thus far? I'd say tippy tops. Tip, 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 tippy top yeah, for I'd sure. Say, go ahead and say tippy tops running tip, around. Are you tip top? Tippy chatting. tops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> I have a million questions, but I think I have to start with the most important thing. Do you think it's too on the nose? You're wearing the shirt. Yes. Oh, young Yellow shirt. I didn't know what to wear, so I was like, I'm just gonna wear wear the guy. Yeah. Or the short the short pants. You're always branding, Sean. Always branding. Always promoing. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the show and but there's gonna be a lot of people out there watching who've actually never seen it. How do you typically describe solar opposites to like friends and family when they ask you about it? I say, get all your young kids. Yeah. Um, the youngest, the younger the better. Uh. Ha have them watch it. There's a lot of uh. violence, a lot of swearing. It's going to prepare them for the real world. That's yeah. what I that I lead with that. Yeah, it's definitely so, a kids show. Yeah. <laughs> It's for a kids. It's a children's cartoon about a family of cussers and murderers for kids. Totally for kids. You're well. <laughs> You're the youngest, you would know. Yeah. Sean was two when he started this, yeah. two Sweet years old. Right. One of the things, though, that I love about the show is truly every episode can go off the rails in any, any direction. You really don't know what's going to happen. What is it like for you guys getting the scripts? Are they as chaotic as I would imagine? Or how much is found when you guys are recording? We, we do a lot. Of, we, you, we give them, what, don't we all give them like three straight reads and then go off in, yeah. in improv? I mean, it's, it's definitely, I've had my fair share of moments where I'm reading the lines and just, I have to do another take because I laugh in the middle of them because they're so <laughs> yes. ridiculous. Like yes. some of the, some of the, especially the references, all the specific random references that they throw in there. I'm like, wow, well played. I came out of nowhere. Yeah. But yeah, we'll usually get it on on book, as they say, and then give a couple of goofs. As it's industry standard term yeah. for going off book is goofs. <laughs> All right, you guys do goofs. Yeah, I do a goof spoof. Yeah, <laughs> it's extra. Yeah, I I, I kind of just stick with the script. I'm I might have to throw in a couple more goofs. Yeah, maybe if, like future records, but I, I can't yeah. just because usually when I read it, it's it's something that I could never like or I, I've never thought of and just cracks me up so i usually yeah. just stick with the script but yeah sometimes i feel a lot of shame after i say something <laughs> do you know what i mean like did i just say that out loud like and then i and then i'm like i'll give you a clean take like no swears or nothing they love it <laughs> they love the clean stuff these guys eat the clean stuff right up yeah they do and then i like to say amen after a lot of the uh, lines yeah, you do you do end it you end every session with a prayer that's nice of you. Uh, how often have the three of you done voicemails, and what do I need to do to get one done? Huh? What? That's a great idea. I've never done. Maybe that'll be our cameo business. Yeah, yeah. Sean and I were gonna do those bicycle cabs next year. We're gonna start that on as our side hustle. But maybe, maybe we could just do, do like voice mess, charge people to to do their voicemail. It's gonna be a lot though. Or for free, whatever. Yeah, we do yours for free though. <laughs> You just undercut my price, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of joking around, but I know that a lot of uh, people. Hold, that do... bless, you. bless you, bless you. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. It's good that no one's wearing a mask. It's not like COVID's around. I send it to the sea. Right. I send it to the ocean. Right. The wind's going this way, by the way, so I'm feeling good, but you two are effed. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I know. thought that was the sea mist coming at me, no, but... No. <laughs> not at all. It's my germs. Uh, being... Uh, so, I, how far ahead? You guys were already renewed for season four, and I know there's a holiday special coming later this year, a Halloween one. How far ahead are, are you guys actually in the recording process? Uh, well, right now we're recording season well, four. We haven't got to Halloween yet. Right? No, have I'm not we? sure. I can't or did remember. we already do that? I don't know. We're, we're all on drugs. Uh, we have no <laughs> idea. No, we're not. But but we are, but we're not. Uh, um, Just pharmaceutical. Yeah. Uh, did we do that? Up Is that in season three? No, 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 it's coming up. Yeah. It is. Well, the, you oh, know, okay. we got, we got, it takes what you, what you don't remember realize with animation it takes long time to draw all those little drawings so you got to record them yeah. well in advance yeah. and by the time we have interviews like this about season three we have to like watch it again to remember yeah. so yeah. Uh, but yeah we're i think we're all recording season four it, right now yeah in the middle of four mm -hmm. i believe yeah 
one of the storylines which like everyone who watches the show that I love is obviously the stuff with the wall. Um, when did you guys first like sort of, how did you hear about, was it in the script? Like what's been your reaction to it? Because it's so ingenious and brilliant and not what any other show does. I remember, well, the first script had the wall and I was like, oh, there's not much Terry in this. And I just threw it away. <laughs> but then when I saw it, I was like, oh, I see what they were doing. It's very funny. And mm -hmm. then I was mad and envious mm -hmm. and I came to, uh, the studio and wrecked everything and said, don't you ever do this to me again. <laughs> I don't know, what'd you guys do? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 my, um, my, 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 my read, my first read, and I did go up against some of the best children in Hollywood, by the way, for the part, but my read was about the wall. So I kind of had the first insight because that was my, that was my like little test, screen test was, Wall content. Yeah, I I, I, shrink, I was shrinking down a person, in it, and I was like, I already know what's happening in the whole season now. From from I kind of could see it from the audition, and these guys didn't have to audition, but I did, and I'd like to bring that up that I actually earned my position on the show, um, and these guys. They just aren't used to working hard anymore. I'm his grandfathered in. Justin Rowland's my dad. So <laughs> it's nepotism at, at its finest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's both. He's your dad, too. Yeah, yeah. Sean and I are brothers. Yeah. And, and we can't stand each other. <laughs> <laughs> they keep Mary in between us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I keep them apart. I keep them separated. What's interesting about animation, and I think a lot of people realize, is often you're recording by yourself. But I've spoken to a lot of people that record together. Do you guys ever actually get to record together? Uh, we, we did. We For the first season, and then, then for like a publicity thing, the whole group did one time, but never. Yeah, never all at, at once. It's like, not standard on our show. No, it's not. But but, um, you had a good point. We were talking about it, and uh, Thomas said, "Why would somebody else want to sit there and listen to you go, Ugh, eh, oh, <laughs> like different ways of I, to put somebody else through that, like yeah. the weird." It, ma it makes it a longer process. No, no, yeah. I totally. I get it when you're talking about like for people that don't realize. I think that the terminology is called like efforts yeah. or something. Yeah. And so I understand like obviously if you're doing efforts, who the hell wants to be in the room? But I mean when you're doing like dialogue scenes, you know, I wonder. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I think it's sometimes it goes. It just goes quicker when you have because you know typically you get a line and you say it at least you know three different times and then you might need to say it a bunch, just because in, especially in our show it needs to be quicker. A lot yeah. of a lot of our lines are yelled. Yes, it's all yelling. And so, yep. and so you just get a lot of the notes of like, hey, louder, faster, and you're like, okay, and that might take you six or seven t times to get it right, and you know, like, yeah. you just kind of want to screw tighten the screws on that on these isolated lines and not have to constantly do the back and the teleplay, as yeah. it were. Yeah, we we would all go crazy if we had to sit there and listen to each person. I do can't their stand part. these guys' voices. We hate each other. I think they do a terrible job on the show. These guys are the worst. Yes, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything about your your co stars, but yeah, they are pretty bad. They're pretty stinky. Yeah, no, they they, they really are. They bring, you. they bring the show down. They yeah. have no talent. Oh. I don't enjoy their voices on the show. No, no. They they don't make me laugh every episode. Oh. You know, not not at all. Horribly cast. I I completely concur. Um, we're obviously I'm joking around. I want to be serious. The show is fantastic. You obviously all need to watch this. Please make sure you tune in Hulu. It's real good. Uh, we're at Comic-Con. What do you guys actually obsess over or collect in terms of if you had the if you go down the convention, what would you buy? Oh, that's so hard. Maybe a nice set of polyhedrals. <laughs> get my get my dice game elevated because I do like to roll them bones. Uh, in a fantasy setting, of course. Is Bojack Horseman here? I don't know if it's here this year, but it has been. I'd like a little Bojack Horseman figurine. You could definitely get that on the floor. There's a dog in my neighborhood named Mr. Peanut Butter. <laughs> And I love Mr. Peanut Butter. I walk by his I walk by his yard all the time just so I can yell Mr. Peanut Butter. But our show is way better than that one. <laughs> yeah. Good save. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good, good one, man. I'd probably get some comics or something because yeah, I don't know. I I just some random comic if I like the artwork or something. Yeah. 
Have you guys actually been on the convention floor before? Yes. Um, yeah, we went, were there uh, in 2019, but Thomas couldn't come because he had prior engagements. <laughs> because he's also a diva. You can just say it. Yeah, diva ditch. Yeah. <laughs> Let it be known. <laughs> DD. DD's baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I've been on there. It's it's a, it's a wild time. I re I've realized that, that like my relationship with comics is like neophyte at best, and so I, I would I saunt, I remember sauntering me like I'm gonna really sink my teeth into me like I don't know anything about comics. <laughs> this is very overwhelming. Yeah. One of the things though that I love and. Um, I'm sure you guys agree is that uh, what I love about Comic-Con is just all the people here are like, like fans. They're yeah. legit fans. Like you, you to spend the money to come here to all the effort of like, you know, you see how, what it's like outside. It's yeah. chaos mm. yeah. to, to go through this. You really want to be here. Yep. Yeah. This is not like uh, you know, Oh fuck it. Let's just come down. Yeah. Yeah. And I think when there's like a little bit of mutual appreciation, it's very much uh, like one of us, one of, like it feels like one singular mob entity of fandom and nerddom which is like really sweet mm -hmm. it's it's nice that there's a place for that <laughs> jumping back into the show um obviously there have been some and i don't know if you're going to remember season one anymore since you're in season four but is there a storyline that you especially loved recording or a memory from the recording process that really sticks with you something like you'll never forget i remember picking on sean a lot during during our um, our very few uh, duo records um, for season one, and I cherish the times when I've made Sean feel like shit. <laughs> is, is it because he didn't audition? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anytime I can take these guys down a peg, yeah. I'm in, and I will remember that straight till my deathbed. I will remember that. That that's my honest answer. Very competitive, Mary is. Yes. Yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I auditioned for Terry and Yamula. She's the. She's the. <laughs> oh no! You're the Daniel Plainview of voiceover. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm doing. I have it a competition all. in me. <laughs> Do you have any uh any favorite storylines though? Uh, I'm I'm enjoying the sort of ambiguous progression of um, <laughs> platonic romance with Corvo and Terry. I think that's been delightful to explore. Oh yeah. Um, there's that escalates in season four. Something to something to look forward to. Oh yeah, it's a great story. I yeah. I also enjoy that storyline. Yeah, it's spicy. Uh, yeah, and 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 I I like that. Um, Yum Yulak is listening to Jesse a little bit more on the show. They're not as, I mean, they're still adversarial, but they're not killing each other as much. Yeah. And that's a big step forward. Although in our real life relationship, it's we, we, still, we still hate each other. Yeah. W with good reason. <laughs> yeah, with good reason. Uh, on that note, I'm going to be letting you guys go. And I'm just going to say sincerely, I really, really enjoy your show. And I really do hope everyone tunes in. It is streaming on, I believe it's called Hulu. Yes. Ooh. And I think it's it's a streaming channel, if you're not familiar. Mm. I'm obviously fucking around. <laughs> everyone knows Hulu. Um, but seriously, thank you so much for coming in. And uh, congrats on you know the show being a hit. Thank you Thank very you much. so much. Thanks so much. <laughs>